I have an interview in five minutes. Bad bitch vibes. Bad bitch vibes. All right, it's go time. Uh. Our room says to hold it like this. have to blow their nose after they wash their face. Not anyway. <laughs> Five for a vegan burger. I would say three. Five. What? Which one's better? Which is like the best vegan burger you've ever had? Monty's. Mm -hmm. No, you're milk yeah, There's no way I'm gonna post this. Came back from my run. And I literally come home for this. Well, first of all, <laughs> oh my god, these beautiful flowers. Are you kidding me? I was having such a crappy morning, and this is the kind of shit that makes me feel just so lucky. So, so beyond lucky. Mm.
like to poop it out like this. <laughs> no, people are gonna tune in just for you and not for me. That's not even true. Yeah, you're right. No one's gonna tune in, period. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to Pond Talk. I'm your Christian youth pastor, and I want to ask about your trauma. It's the Pond Power Hour, where I come to the pond and punch it a lot. Consider this pond punched. You know that thing where it's like, people are like... Oh yeah. It's like a brrrr, oh my god, let's like do that. Again. How do I do that? Tell us about how you grew up with a Peruvian mother. It didn't occur to me ever that she was like an immigrant mother facing like... Yes! Isn't it crazy when you realize that yeah, about your parents? Really like I asked my mom the other day, I'm like, Mom, what was it like to move to the country without knowing a soul and yes. leaving your culture, your, your family, like everything you knew behind? The thing about my mom too is that she came over here with a Fulbright scholarship, which is like what? That's insane. Which is like yeah. So your your home country sends you off, and it's like okay, bring us back some knowledge. So you do however much time here. I think it's about two years, or however long your education is, and then you have to do your two years back in the home country, transfer that knowledge, or like apply it. Oh, that's cool. Heyo. I wanted to say that I think today marks the day of 2021 where I have awoken from my slumber. I feel alive and awake and like I literally woke up from being asleep for a long time. A long time meaning like a couple months because I was feeling really weird. Like I kept feeling like the moments of happiness or joy that I was feeling were really, really short-lived. My baseline was pretty low. I'm like, where's Nat? The Nat that likes, that's very curious. The Nat that likes to ask questions a lot. The Nat that likes to converse and talk about things. Um, I'm also noticing that I hate any kind of alteration to my body, including caffeine. Because I'm slowly weeding everything out. Um, I barely drink anymore. I think the last time I drank, I despised it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at that little click watch. Looking for those exciting moments in life when maybe like a certain conversation you have with somebody or a certain movie you watch or a poem you read ignites this fire in you again and you're like, woo, whoa, I'm back, baby. That's what I feel today because I was feeling really flatliney. Does that mean dead? It was just quiet for a, lot, a while, which is okay because you know, sometimes they get a little too loud and that's also really annoying and stressful. Now I feel free. I'm sweating. We're currently entering phase two of the year, which phase one was uh, getting laid off and feeling really uncomfortable in this limbo and being like, what's going on? Where is my life going? All these questions with no answers. I think it's because I started to read poetry in the morning. I started reading the Rumi collection, really inspiring and, and just really beautifully written. So anyway, I was reading poetry this morning and I think that's kind of where I started to find a little bit of inspiration. And then I had a great conversation about um, essentially wanting to quit my jobs. And I've been working for a month after I was supposed to end. And now I'm like, fuck that. That's not, no, we're not doing that. Her job as role has nothing to do with what I want to do. I know what I want to do now. I really think it's time for me to just say peace out. So we're going to turn that right around. We're going to take control of the ship and we're going to sail off. Thanks for watching.
Although sometimes it's a little drying on my face, but I like to do it when I feel like I'm breaking out a little bit more. And then it zaps away all those little suckers. I wanted to share the puppy party I was having this morning. Puppy party. Hello, Mr. Mr. Little. Hendrix. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's a puppy party now. Whoa! Whoa, you guys. It's 7 in the morning. Let's take a chill pill. Well, that was a pretty cool choreography that I just made up on the spot. Scary tunnel. Because as we know, nothing is permanent. Um, so, you know, I'm just gonna enjoy it as much as I can. This really peaceful, true serenity that I feel in my heart. Wow, it's so lovely. And I just really hope it's here to stay for a while. Thank you. 